Um, oh, it's salt. This is salt section, my friend. All I've done. All right, let's have a serious discussion about this. You ready? It's going to go live. Unscripted. Two, three, oh, that's one. Where, where the hell is this? G'day, guys. One Peter Kafkis. Oh, sorry. No, you're right. Don't apologise. We're, we're, this is a shock to us. I've, I've shocked you by hitting record. Yeah, well, I, I, I wasn't expecting it because I was just reading away here at some of the recent sold prices throughout Darwin. It's, it's, it seems to be knowing no boundaries. Once upon a time, you could sort of say, yeah. oh, well, that'll be this area. But yeah. this is northern suburbs. This is Palmerston. This Correct. Is, this is uh, Rapid Creek. We, guys, I hit record because, um, you know, we want to have a chat about uh, something that we've come up with by looking at the most recent sale prices in the Northern Territory. We just want to educate you guys out there as to what's really happening in the Darwin marketplace. So let me put it straight with that, without sugarcoating it. We're almost back to prices that were uh, 15 years ago. Yeah, I, there was a pause there for a reason. Uh, Pete, you know, just show people what I've showed you. Uh, what we've done here is we've gone to realestate.com.au. We've hit in the sold section, not for sale, not for rent, and yeah, oh, sorry, I'll unlock that, see that, it gets locked. And we put Darwin Greater Region and hit uh, sold section of the most recent sales in the Darwin Greater Region, but here's the kicker. I put from the maximum price of $300,000. Now, if you would like to do that, do 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 it, please do it, mm -hmm. and uh, Pete will talk about some of the findings. Don't sugarcoat it. Yeah, so look, I'm scrolling through these, and the first couple I thought, oh, he set me up here because he's just got some shock ones. But mm. I, I, I'm looking at, I'm looking at just, I mean, I'd say at least 10, 15, 20 properties that have gone for under 300,000, which you, you just didn't see houses for under 300,000, even in some of, I'll call them the less desirable areas. I'm not yep. saying that because people don't want to live there, but yep. you know, they're, they're the cheaper areas traditionally. And you've got, um, look, there's a three bedroom house here that's sold in Malak for $280,000. But what date, Pete? That was in December. So we're talking just a couple of months ago. Right. Um, there's a, a, a two-bedroom house here in Malden for two hundred and seventy-five thousand yeah. dollars. That was last month. Yep. Um, as I scroll through, there's another one I saw here before in uh, in Karama, a three-bedroom house sold in the middle of December for two hundred and sixty-nine thousand um, dollars. This, it, yeah, I mean, it, it's a, not a shock to me in terms of because I'm unaware of it, mm. but you're right, it's 15 years ago. Yeah. Check this one out. A three bedroom, two bathroom. I know this one. Now, I won't call it recently renovated, but it's not the sort of home that comes to mind when I hear about these prices. Yeah. 16th of December, $240,000. That's got two bathrooms. Two bathrooms and three bedrooms. So less than three months ago, somebody's picked up literally a bargain for two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, these are prices that we just haven't seen for for so long. And I, I guess one of the things that we're talking about a lot with a lot of homeowners who yep. are looking to sell yep. is if you have to sell, of course you have to sell, but. There's no tricking the market at the moment. There's there's a lot on offer. Yeah. There's a lot of stock in the market. Yeah. And there's those days are gone of oh look we might try and snag twenty thousand here or fifty thousand there. You you need to be well and truly in the game and often just below the game to get that interest that you're looking for if you have to sell. Absolutely. Guys, we just thought we'd let you know about some recent sales figures. Well, look, we know they're there. Um, we at iPropertyNT will always work hard for our vendors to get you the maximum possible price. We feel that in some cases, some of these properties, uh, if you want to look at land, val land value alone, it's almost under just land value. So they've taken no account into the, you know, the, 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 the pricing of the property. Yeah, the yeah. the the, um, the building itself. Yeah. Which you know, in a tough market, it's not unprecedented. Sure. But there was a time there when there was a, I guess, a big 
pitch on by government. Mm. Uh, I would have to say real estate agents yeah. are part of that problem. Absolutely. Where there was this fallacy that was sold to everyone. Oh, your, your house will always you know, appreciate in price and you can't go wrong with property. Look, long term, that's probably right. But we're absolutely seeing a blip on the radar at the moment and, and it, it's not going to be for a week or two. So, uh, yeah, if you're in the market and you have to sell, then uh, by all means contact us and we'll, we'll give you the honest appraisal of where things are at. Yeah, we definitely won't suggest an auction. We feel that that is causing some of these prices. So let's put a price on it. Let's uh, let's put a realistic price on it and let the market negotiate. Absolutely. And we'll present the property marketing-wise in the best possible light that it can be. Absolutely. I'm Peter Kafkis. And I'm Peter Gowers for iProperty NT.